my name is Heather Culver and I'm an analyst here at Top Shelf Models. Today we'll be discussing expense recoveries and I'll be walking you through how they're inputted into our retail non-Argus development model. Expense recoveries are the amount of money that a landlord is reimbursed by tenants to cover operating expenses at a property. Within non-residential real estate, such as retail or office buildings, tenants sign leases with agreements that specify a base rent plus additional expenses. These additional expenses vary, but they are most commonly operating expenses like CAM charges, utilities, insurance, and taxes that the landlord passes on to its tenant and subsequently recovers by generating an invoice to the tenant for their pro rata share. In order to calculate expense recoveries, the landlord estimates annual recovery costs and allocates them between the tenants based on the tenant's occupied area. In order to input the expense recoveries, we start on our rent roll tab. In all of our models, the blue cells are input cells. Our rent roll allows for three different types of leases, triple net, gross, and stop amount, all of which are determined by these drop-down menus in column I. As you can see here, your options are triple net gross and stop amount. If triple net, like all the leases shown in this example, the tenant is responsible for their share of all the operating expenses, meaning that the landlord is fully reimbursed and the expense recoveries are equal to the total operating expenses in a fully occupied building. If gross is selected, then the tenant is responsible for no operating expenses and the landlord does not recover anything. In this case, the expense recoveries on the monthly cash flow would be zero. Finally, if stop amount is selected, then a number will populate in column J. This number represents the maximum amount of expenses that are recovered by the landlord. That is, the tenant pays for their share of operating expenses up to a certain amount, and the landlord is responsible for the rest. In some cases, the amount called a stop amount is based on the expenses of the property during a base year. For example, this base year could be the first year that a tenant is in their lease. So now let's put one tenant to each and we will go to our, our monthly cash flow to see how these flow. Our Total base expense recoveries, which are the expense recoveries for our initial in-place leases, flow through to rows 241 through 260 of our rent roll. Our first tenant, which we indicated was a stop amount, shows cash flows equal to that $250,000 plus inflation. And then our second tenant was triple net, which means all of their expenses are being recovered, leaving them with a total expense recovery of $1.3 million. And then we had gross selected for our third tenant. And as you can see, they have zero expense recoveries. This works the same for our market expense recoveries, which are located in rows 261 through 281. In this example, all of them are triple net leases. From there, the expense recoveries are summed to come to a gross rental revenue. If you have any questions about expense recoveries or how they're calculated in our retail non-Argus development model, please feel free to reach out. Thank you for listening.